Hello all, welcome to session 16 of csharp.net training series. In this session, I'm going to explain about compiler errors. So let's get started. Csharp is strict and syntax oriented programming language. If I compare Csharp with English language, so when you are writing some statements in English, if you miss any comma or full stops, okay, at the proper locations, if you don't provide comma or full stops, what will happen? That English sentences will result in grammatical mistakes, okay, grammatical errors. Similarly, C sharp programming is also like English, C sharp programming is also strict and syntax oriented. According to the rules and regulations of this C sharp programming language, if you miss something, okay, if you miss to do something while writing the code in C sharp, then that code will result in something known as compiler errors. While English is resulting in grammatical mistakes, C sharp programming language will result in compiler errors if you don't follow the rules and regulations of the C sharp programming language. Okay, that's why we can say C sharp is a strict and syntax oriented programming language. So let me give some examples, guys. Okay, for the syntax mistakes, right, which results in compiler errors. Let me give some examples in C sharp programming of the syntax mistakes that we generally make and which results in the compiler errors. Okay, these are few examples. So here in the IDE, I'll show you the examples. First example is, you see, in English language, in English language, after every sentence, you have to put a full stop, right? After every statement, you have to put a full stop to, to mention that uh, the statement, okay? The statement is completed, the line, particular line is completed, you have to put a full stop in English. But in C sharp programming language, you see, this is one of the sample statement in C sharp programming language, okay? So these statements, Okay, the statements in C sharp programming language should end with semicolon symbol. Okay, like in English, the statements, English statements are ending with full stop, right? Similarly, the statements in C sharp programming language should end with semicolon. What if you remove the semicolon? Immediately you are going to get an error, guys. Okay, you see? So here you are you are already getting an error. Did I run the code? No. Without running the code only, I got the error here. How? Because this Visual Studio is very smart. Okay. So while you are writing the code itself, Visual Studio will compile this code, guys. Okay, automatic, automatical compilation will happen. You don't have to manually compile it. If you are not using Visual Studio code editor, if you are using a very basic editor like Notepad for writing this uh, C sharp code, then you have to manually compile the code. But in case of if you are writing the code C sharp code in a advanced and intelligent editor like Visual Studio, then this Visual Studio will automatically compile the code. While you are writing the code, your code will be compiled, okay? So you don't have to run the code to get the compiler errors, okay? You don't have to run this code to get the compiler errors. Simply, the Visual Studio is very intelligent that when you are writing the code itself, if you are not following the rules and regulations of this c programming language, while writing the program itself, the Visual Studio IDE will compile this code and give you this kind of compiler errors. You see, this IDE is giving you the compiler error here. Okay, it's automatically compiling the C code and giving you the compiler errors. So here hover the mouse on this compiler error, which you got without running the code. You see what it is saying? A semicolon symbol is expected it is saying, okay? In the message of this, uh, you see, semicolon expected is there. Again, if you put semicolon, the automatical compilation will happen instantly and you see the error is already gone, okay? So these are, this is a compiler error, guys. Without running the code, if you are getting any errors in the program, means that is a compiler errors. You are not following the rules and regulations of the C sharp, okay? You are not following the syntax of C sharp, okay? That's what is the thing. This is one of the example, guys. If you don't, if you miss semicolon at the end of the C sharp statements, you will get the compiler error, okay? You see, these two are examples of the C sharp statements. After, uh, at the end of the each and every C sharp statement, you see there is a semicolon. Okay, if you miss the semicolon, you are going to get compiler error. That is one example for getting the compiler error if you don't follow the syntax. Okay, of C sharp. Second thing is, as I already mentioned in the last session, that C sharp is case sensitive programming language. That means uh, some keywords are there, some uh, some things are there. Okay, that you are writing in the code in the C sharp. So some predefined things are there here in this code, right? All these predefined things. Okay, as per the C sharp, whether they have to be in lowercase or uppercase. Based on that, we have to write the code, guys. Okay. So, for example, here namespace should be in lowercase as per the C sharp. Okay. But what if you change uh, it to uppercase? A, a, at least one letter if you try to. Okay. Even one letter if you try to change it to uppercase, you see immediately you are getting the compiler error. Is unable to understand. Okay. What is this namespace? I don't know. It's saying simply. Okay. So compiler error is immediately coming. When, uh, once I change it back to the required case, you see the problem is gone. Here also, guys. If I give Capital C here immediately I'm going to get an error. Okay. So if you don't follow the 
uh, if you don't give the proper case, okay, if the things have to be in uppercase, they have to be in uppercase. If the things have to be in lowercase, they have to be in lowercase. Okay, not only namespace class. I explained in the previous session, guys. I told you that C sharp is case sensitive. Okay, case sensitive programming language. If you don't follow the case, what you will get? Compiler errors you will get. Okay, so another reason for getting the another way you can get the compiler is by changing the case. Okay, by going against the C sharp where. Uh, in case of lowercase give uppercase in case of uppercase give lowercase you will get compiler errors and other thing is another example i can give about this uh, following the rules and regulation that syntax of the c sharp is violating the syntax of the c sharp to get the compiler errors is you see the namespace is starting here where is the namespace ending namespace is ending here okay and similarly this class is starting here this is a closing brace this is a starting brace of the main method this is a closing brace of the main method Okay, this is another class starting brace and closing brace. Okay, so if there is a starting brace, definitely there should be a closing brace. Okay, if there is a mismatch, what will happen? For example, this main method is there. Main method is starting here and ending here. What if I remove this? What will happen? You see somewhere here, in the bottom you got a compiler error. Okay, you got a compiler error saying that the closing brace is expected. You have to close this. Okay, you have to close the closing brace. Okay, if you start something, you have to close. If there is a mismatch, you are going to get the compiler errors. These are few examples only, guys. Okay, these are not the entire examples for getting the compiler errors in C sharp. Okay, uh, just to give you an idea, like if you don't follow the syntax of uh, C sharp, that is C sharp is strict and syntax oriented, and if you don't follow the syntax rules and regulations of the C sharp, then uh, if if you violate the rules like this, like missing the semicolon, or if you are giving an improper case, or if you are missing any mismatch, if you are doing a mismatch between opening and closing brace number. Okay, in that case, you're going to get compiler errors, guys. These are few examples only. There are many other things that will result in compiler errors, but for your understanding, these examples are enough for this session. Okay, so that's all for this session. See you in the next video session. Thank you. Bye.